Okie dokie, I've been in Basha for a long time now and I've gotten so ginger, so so ginger and then based on some videos and stuff that I've been sending, I decided to get on the treadmill today. Yeah, see me? I'm all ready for sport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's time to do some jumps and jumps and jumps and stuff like that, so, okay? So I'm starting with what is easy to me, okay? And my coach says I should do some weight lifts, but I'm still to learn how to do it right, so I don't just get excited. So I'm gonna go on with the jogs. It's a jog thing today. So let's see how this works, okay? Yes, okay. gingered and gingered and ginger to an extent that I don't know what's happening to me but I seem not to want to start so today I'm getting on the treadmill I want to start by jogging first you know just get the steps you know people encouraged us with taking steps so I want to get my own steps in the gym <laughs> I hope this actually works for me okay so um, yeah here I'm going and uh, I hope that the pace is going to be good enough for me, okay? So, let's try it! It also has a lot to do with the mind. It has a lot to do with your 
somebody is going to blast me. Like, when you're doing exercises, you can be talking, right? Yeah. Um, I think, I, I was thinking that maybe you'll talk because... <laughs> uh, I think much of yoga, if you're doing yoga, shouldn't be talking. It's a mind, body and soul thing, and so here, So, I'm sure you're wondering who Somali is. Um, she's my amazing colleague and friend. She's a Cambodian. In Cambodia, they speak the language called Kama. Oh, yeah? Kama. Kama. Okay. <laughs> Pronunciation matters, trust me. Especially in Asia. You, you don't want to come here and say things that you mean. <laughs> They have things with tonations and stuff like that. So, um, if you're here and you want to say something, you really need to be sure about the tonation and the pronunciation. If not, you're going to get yourself into serious trouble. There are words that, um, depending on how you pronounce them, one one pronunciation means it's a good thing you're talking about, and another pronunciation means it's a bad thing. <laughs> Of the same word, you know, so it's very tricky. So, what I do for the most part is, um, I always say to myself that I'm too old to learn new languages, which is bad, but yeah, that's me. Please, please, please. So, I'm not letting pass the time. Now, I'm not letting any language. Now, for now, for now, okay? So, most of my time, what I do is to make things easy for me. If I need a particular thing, you know, like I want to go to the market, I want to buy some stuff, I just take a picture. It's easy, right? So I show someone and I'm like, this is what I want. It's easier than to go pronouncing something else that is not really what I want. And then people are looking at me like, what did you just say? Yeah. Uh, before I get myself embarrassed somewhere. So that's what I do. I take pictures and I show them, or I go to the place if it's a provision store. I just point. Or I just go around looking for what I want, and if I see it, fine. If I don't see it, I go to the next shop already, you know. Those are ways. So you don't get yourself embarrassed because it's really, really tricky in life. Egg and chicken, they spell the same but pronounced differently. You know, I don't know which one is which, but I know there's Kai and there's Kai, right? So, I don't even know which one is chicken and which one is egg. But it's spelled the same, but it's pronounced like that in two different ways. So you can imagine it. <laughs> ah, okay, but Thai is a beautiful place. It's, it's nice. The side I'm living is okay. I like it. And, uh, we're here in Passion Knowledge. I'm an ESL teacher and I teach in a secondary school. Sometimes it's fun the way the children learn. Um, sometimes I forget that it's not their main language and I'm like, why can't they get this? It's so simple. <laughs> and then I just put myself in the shoes like how I normally say, uh, like I just said right now, I don't know which one is which to this. If Kai is chicken and Kai egg or the other way around. <laughs> so it's just the same. That's how we get a little bit slow with learning, but it's fun. And the story of my life. If someone ever told me I was going to teach <laughs> in a formal setting, I would surely put you with a cane or something and I tell you you're not serious. But here I am doing it and I'm loving it all the way. Yep, I am loving it. So this is me taking you on my 10 minute walk and I'm sure you all are having a nice time so far. I was thinking I was going to credit up because at some point I was very quiet. So maybe I'm going to 
kind of tired for our talk. So by the time you're seeing this, or you're listening to this, <laughs> you know I've got to pack off. Because that part was so quiet, my colleague had gone out, so I was kind of feeling like, oh yeah, meditate a little bit. <laughs> okay, so it's my first time at the gym. It's my first time to take a conscious decision to do exercises. And uh, it's all thanks to Match Fire Nation. You can register and become a part of the family. They're not just um, a group of people who do this or that. No, they're family. They're my family. And my coach is also a matcher. And he's the so, CEO and founder of Match Fire Nation. And <laughs> she's gonna be like, Princess, why are you doing this to me? Yeah, I love her so very much. And she knows that, you know, right? Coach Kay! <laughs> okay, so shout out to Coach Kay. Shout out to all the matches. I'm truly excited that I'm starting this journey and I'm starting it with you all. You've inspired me in ways beyond my reasonable understanding. I'm grateful for that. And the this is thanks to you and God Almighty for strength and uh, I pray that as we go on, I'll get challenged some more to be better, to be a better version of myself by doing the things that I love to do, doing the things that will make me grow, doing the things that will take me to my next level and while I'm at it, I'm going to have all the fun in the world that I can. Because yes, life can be fun if you make it. Life is what you make it. And so, I'm loving my journey. We are on 38 minutes. Yay! I'm excited. I feel like I should add it. No, but I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I'm just gonna do this two minutes and uh, it's gonna be a done deal. I love you all, matchers. I love all those who take exercise seriously. I'm starting my journey, and I hope you all are gonna encourage me in one way or the other. I'm your very own princess, Clayton, queen of hearts and smiles, and giving me backup courage, backup encouragement has been to my I call her bad girl, she's really, really, yeah. When I say that, she's kind of luscious. Well, she's pretty, so you're really gonna see her. Like, I'll, I'll not do this video and finish without putting her on. So I'm gonna show you her, and you're gonna tell me in the comment section if I was joking or not. <laughs> but I'm sure you're gonna ask. agree with me that she's really pretty. I call her bad girl, so. And sometimes when people feel out with me, without me putting any tag on it, they don't believe it's my colleague, they think it's my student. <laughs> oh, Mr. Mali, that's when you are a tiny, pretty looking teacher. <laughs> people kind of mistake you for a student, if you are not putting on clothes. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and done! Yay! It's steady! Okay. So yes, yes, and yes, and yes, and yes. We're done. Done, 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 done. And this is Teacher Somali, the pretty one. Okay, so let me know black face. Hello! Ain't she pretty? She's like a baby doll, right? <laughs> and we're saying bye bye. Thank you for the courage. 
She's very pretty, yes? Okay. Thank you, my Fire Nation. My chef 